Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to the Crafty Corner. My name is Miss Lisa, and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library. Today, we are going to be making this movable chameleon. Now, chameleons are lizards, and in just a few minutes, I have a surprise for you because we're going to get a visit with a real lizard. In our packet that you come to the library to get, you will have a straw, a Chanel stick, a strip of red paper, a yellow eye, a lizard eye, and you'll have a brad and two pieces of um, two paper plates. So what we're going to do to get started is you're going to take your paper plate and fold it in half. And then you're going to want to draw the chameleon's body. So first of all, have, have a black marker and you're going to go up the whole um, half of the side. Okay, And you're going to come across here. And on this side, this is going to be your tail. So this line is going to come to you come to the ridges. And you're going to take this and you are just going to squiggle around and around and around like a tail would be. Okay, and then you're going to take this end and connect it back up there. So that's going to be the body of your chameleon. To make the head, you can get a ruler and you're going to want to use some of the ridges for its head. So take your ruler and you're going to want to draw a four inch line. And then you're going to want to go up, you're making an L, and you're going to want to make it about three and a half inches. And then you will connect those two lines, and that will be the head. Now, what you're going to want to do next is to color it. Now, you can, if you have at home, paint. You could paint it. But I am just going to use my watercolor markers. And then we're going to spray it a little bit with water. And so it will blend and, and sort of um, mix all the colors together like a, a green chameleon would be out in the wild. Now, not all chameleons are green. As you can see, some of the books behind us, they are very multicolored. And chameleons are a lizard. And another type of lizard is a gecko. So while I'm coloring this, my coworker Alexis here has brought her gecko in today. And she's going to tell us a little bit about that while I do my coloring. Go ahead, Alexis. Tell us about your gecko. So this is my pet gecko. She is a leopard gecko. And so leopard geckos come from rocky, arid places, so they're very dry, sort of like a desert place. And so these creatures, they are insectivores, which means she only eats bugs. She doesn't eat plants, she doesn't eat meat, she only eats bugs. And what's really cool about these geckos is that they are one of the only geckos that do not have sticky feet. So when you think of geckos, you think of the ones that are sticking on the wall and stuff. But she can't do that. She's got these little feet, these little claws. And they're one of the only geckos that blink because she has eyelids. Now, a defense mechanism that these geckos have is that this fat tail right here in the back, when she's really scared, that will fall off. But it will regrow back. And whenever they grow back, they kind of look like a little radish. They're fat. And it, like they'll never look like this. So if you keep care of them, they won't have a little radish looking tail. But another fun fact is that if you take care of them really well, they can live up to 18 to 20 years. These fellas live super long times. And that is one of the amazing things of having a pet gecko is that they'll be with you for a really long time if you take really good care of them. That's really cool. Alexis, thanks for bringing her in today. She is awesome. I know. All right, boys and girls, so you can see that I have colored my paper plates. Now, I didn't necessarily stay on the line because I am going to cut them out. Now, what I'm going to do next is just take my spray bottle water of water here and just spray it just a little bit so that the colors will run and sort of bleed together so that it sort of gives it the water color feel okay and you can sort of maneuver it around to get the look that you want okay now then boys and girls remember I said sometimes there's hard parts to crafts and here's one of the hard parts because you're gonna have to let this dry okay so this would be a very beautiful chameleon but I'm gonna let that dry and I had made another one yesterday which is not near as pretty as that one this one is a lighter green but I have cut it out Okay, the head and the body I have cut out. So the next step is that we are going to want to attach the head to the body. So you're going to need a hole puncher. You're just going to punch a hole here and here. 
You're going to use the little paper fastener that was in your packet, and you're going to attach the head. Okay, whoops. So you're going to want to put it through one, one piece of the paper plate and then to the other, and then carefully turn it over so it doesn't fall, and then pull it apart and push it down. Okay, there. So now your head moves back and forth. Now, after we have the head, we're going to want to have some feet. So you're going to want to have the hole puncher handy, and you're going to punch some holes for his feet. You're going to take your Chanel stick and just sort of pinch it in half. Take your scissors and just cut it. Okay, and then we can just thread that Chanel stick up through the hole and give it a little twist. And you can maneuver the bottoms of it however you want for his feet to be. Okay, so we're going to put the other foot through there. Okay, and we're going to twist it around just a little bit. Okay, you can make little pads for his feet if you want. Okay, now we need to get his face ready. To get his face ready, you're going to need your black marker again. And you're going to want to put on some type of a mouth. Okay, so what I've just been doing is making it fairly long and then just a little thing like that because they can open pretty wide and we're going to make his tongue here in just a minute. Now, I've got some lizard eyes for you and um, you can maybe draw some a black circle if you would like and then use just a tiny dot of glue to adhere the actual wiggly eye to the chameleon's face. There it is. Okay, so now what about the tongue? So the tongue you're going to work on by turning this upside down, and you only need a small piece of the straw. And we're going to take the paper. And you probably don't need the whole length of the paper either. We're going to roll it up, okay, because lizards have those long tongues that like to stick out of the mouth and catch something, okay? So you're going to take your, once you've rolled up the one end, Take the paper and sort of curl it around and get yourself a piece of tape. And then you can tape that on there. Now the reason we're using a straw, because if you're really good and have a good puff of air, you could actually make that come out, okay? So we're going to want to make sure that the tongue gets on the right way, okay? And so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn it so that the tongue is like that and we're going to tape the straw down if you tape make it a little bit longer you would actually have a place um, to then maybe blow on it and move the tongue in and out okay so this is our little movable chameleon and we have been joined today by a real gecko Pretty cool. They're in the same family. They're both lizards. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is Miss Alexis, who has joined us today. Thanks for watching. Join me again next week for another awesome craft. Bye now.